you guys. I have so much to tell you. tuning in today you gotta look at this view today we open up at Virginia Raceway and I am here today with Cadillac in the release of their new Blackwing series I'm yelling and it's like 6 30 in the morning right now but this is dreams this is dreams I could die happy like that I, I woke up on a racetrack I have never been to Virginia Raceway I've always wanted to be here and the fact that I get to race here for the next two days I'm sold so I'm going to have my coffee right here enjoy my morning and then we're gonna get on the road I got my coffee go outside and I see this gift from Cadillac should we open it I'm gonna open it let's see what's inside oh look at this cookies for breakfast <laughs> oh, this is so sweet. And this place is bigger than my first apartment. This is insane. If you guys don't already, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. My goal is to hit a million subscribers by the end of the year. And with your help, I totally think it is possible. CD4 Premium. One of my dream cars has always been a CTSV manual wagon. So to be here today for the CT4V Blackwing and CT5V Blackwing, I cannot wait to race these around the track. And at the end of today's episode, I'll let you guys know which one I'm actually planning on purchasing. And you guys really want me to psych you out? This is the last gasoline powered engine that Cadillac's gonna be producing. I can't believe I just said that. But at least they went out with a bang. So right in front of me here is the CT4V Blackwing. We're gonna be doing a little road driving today and then later today we'll be on the track. Today's focus is the CT4V Blackwing. Tomorrow is the CT5V Blackwing. So don't skip ahead. Let's have a good time. Let me hear it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's got some good gurgle to it. Yeah, that was Oh yeah. I should preface, it's just you and me today. I don't have anyone with me. I'm gonna try to share as much about the car and the experience as I possibly can and I hope you guys enjoy it. Right behind me is the 2022 CT4V Blackwing. This model is a 3.6 liter twin turbo V6 with 472 horsepower and 445 foot-pounds of torque. Comes with a six-speed manual. In fact, it is the TR6060 with a limited slip rear end and mag ride. You can't hate it. <laughs> For the last gasoline powered engine that Cadillac is gonna be producing, they went out with a bang. And honestly, I totally respect that they also offered it in a manual package as well. For those of you guys who don't drive stick, they also have a 10 speed automatic. One cool thing though, is if you purchase the manual, you actually technically get an upgrade in the engine. And what that is are titanium rods. Only the manual comes with titanium rods in your block. Of course, your TR6060 is going to be a twin disc setup. Whoa. Like the vent, this also has PDR, which is your performance data log. And according to the engineers, there's about 30 Easter eggs on this car, and I'm hoping to at least find one. Man, the roads out here are beautiful. This makes me miss Indiana a little bit. Got to the coffee shop, and now they're putting me in the 10 speed automatic to head back to the racetrack so that we can go race at uh, VIR. And let's go, let's go, let's go. right now for a fastest lap time on the sim and currently yo girl holds the record look at that and then the winner is gonna get this microphone i don't need it but my ego wants me to win <laughs> like i said before you know i'm not very competitive i'm just uh extremely competitive time. <laughs> hey man it reminds me of the c8 all over again <laughs> i think he's driving though so hopefully i just don't die 
She blew lanyards over bad. there. Think you're too cool for school. Yeah, actually. It's just an age thing. It's just an I know, we're all the old part YouTubers <laughs> over here. <laughs> above 30, you get the blue one. I don't know why they I'm in this group, had a team It means experience, and then red means energy. <laughs> and I don't know if I feel that, like yeah. Oh, no, you guys, we're, we're cool. squared up like we're ready to fight right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, drop my I can't handle Max, he's too quick. You guys, we're yeah. gonna drive your super cruise uh, units over to the right. south track. We're gonna escort you over there. That way we'll get you all set up and get you on the track. Later. Bye. So we're headed right now to go to a track drive with the CT4V Blackwing, but it's not going to be on the main large track. I, I don't know what track we're, we're going on right now, but it's going to be south, the south loop, the south, south, south loop, I think is what south they said. Yeah, yeah. This will be a good warm up and getting ready for tomorrow. And tomorrow, like the CT5V is what we're going to be driving on the big track. It's a fast <laughs> track. This is f***ing insane. And then you're talking about a sedan? Oh my god, I cannot wait for tomorrow with the CT5. 200 more horsepower, but just, this is incredible. I feel like the only limitation for this car at this point is going to be the tires. If it's some slicks on it, a whole other ball game. Blackwing day, tomorrow CT5, the day that I'm most excited about. In case you guys don't know, it's a supercharged V8. So we still have the dinner tonight. I need to run back to the villa because I've got a lot of meetings I gotta take, emails, etc. you know? Life of a fucking rock star, guys. I got an hour long meeting done. I uploaded a YouTube video that's gonna go live tomorrow. I lined up an Instagram post and did a bunch of emails in the past two hours. So I feel like I was able to accomplish a lot. Pulling up right now to where dinner's going to be. Tomorrow's the day I'm really excited for. Tomorrow's the day with CT5 and you guys i'm about to go talk to cadillac right now about seeing possibly getting one of the first allocations because i mean if you guys think about it this is the last gasoline powered manual that they're going to be making how could you not want this car it's luxury it's class it's a race car that's stock i don't know i'm selling it too hard and i'm, I'm really not trying to you guys know how excited i get about cars i'll let you know what they say tonight <laughs> Today's the day I get to drive the CT5V Blackwing. The day's here! The day's here! CT5! Uh, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> This is what I have been waiting to share with you guys all day. This is the reason that I flew to Virginia. I would like to introduce to you the all new CT5V Blackwing. And uh, I would, this would be a really cool opportunity to do the remote start, but it is manual. So I can't actually do that. But at 668 horsepower and 659 foot pounds of torque with a six speed TR66 manual, I've died and I have officially gone to heaven. Starting at about $84,000, a zero to 60 in 3.4 seconds and a quarter mile time of 1130 at 129 miles per hour. This is insane. And it's a sedan with a top speed of 200 plus miles per hour. As you guys can see, compared to the CT4, the CT5 is actually slightly larger, and that is because this is the most powerful engine that Cadillac has ever produced, and it is probably the last. So they figured, why not throw a six-speed transmission with it manual as well? And for those of you guys at home, they also have the automatic 10-speed option. With the 200 additional horsepower, they needed more contact patch on the road, which meant wider tires. You have a 275 in the front, you have a 305 in the rear, 18 inch, so they had to widen the fenders in order to match. So larger isn't necessarily a bad thing. Say hello to my little friend. So Cadillac spent thousands of hours of developing a unique sound profile for each iteration. The C4 was called Scarface. Anyone want to take a guess what the C5 exhaust was called? Anyone? Oh, wait a second. It was called Phoenix. It was meant to be this was meant to be because it is so quiet in the cab and you can't hear a lot of road noise they actually included 
some exhaust notes in the speakers of the car. Ugh. Last but not least, just a couple things I wanna highlight. As you guys can tell, I'm just so stoked about this car. Again, the CTSV wagon was one of my dream cars. And unfortunately for the CT5, there's no plans for a wagon, but uh, Cadillac, if you guys ever change your mind, hit a girl up. Last but not least, this car comes factory with a line lock. And you can also adjust your own launch control and set the RPM and the tire slope exactly where you want it. And that's super useful if you guys are just changing tires, if you're going from a slick on the road course or the drag strip to just a daily commuter on some Michelin PS 4 S's. But that is enough talking about the car. I want to drive the car. I am so happy and grateful to be invited to this event to be able to be one of the first to actually drive the CT5. Thank you Cadillac for the opportunity. So uh, let's get to it. <laughs> now put it in V mode. Listen, those valves open up, the rumble gets a little deeper. The car's actually already warm, so I'm not cold revving it. <laughs> oh, oh goodness. With a slightly larger pulley on the supercharger. I'm ready to talk about modifying the car. With a little exhaust, I can't... Oh, I can't imagine what more you could possibly want. What's up? You want to do some Nola shifts? Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. let's do it. This interior spec is so nice. I know, I love the seats. I don't know. Did you sit on your key? No. It misses you. <laughs> <laughs> you got me really nervous for a second. <laughs> Separation anxiety. I know, <laughs> don't leave me. Wait, did you guys notice that there's a perfect place for your key in here? Ooh, that, they got the tolerances down there. You don't even really think about that with a smart key since there's nowhere to put it. Where are you supposed to put it? I would stick it in a cup holder, but maybe mm -hmm. I want two drinks there. Oh, oh. V mode. Always driving track mode. This thing is so <laughs> quick. <laughs> oh my goodness. Compared to the CT4, this is a nine day difference of power. We'll start slower, so I'm never exceeding any speeds. Here we go. Getting back on the power is just so satisfying. It is. This thing is, it blows my mind. And people probably think I'm like kissing ass to this manufacturer, no. but I just love these cars so much. We're going to be racing this on VIR later. And I asked them if I could do a donut and they, um, they said no. But uh, if we turn the cameras off, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. adjust at what RPM you want it to leave at and the tire slippage amount you want. So that's great if you want, if you're switching up tires and want a little bit more uh, adjustability. What do you guys think of this car? Uh, it's freaking it's crazy. Yeah. What's the fastest car you've ever driven? I the fastest driven? car I've been in was a McLaren 620R. That thing oh, was, that thing you got one of those? Yeah. That thing's nuts. Mm -hmm. That's quick. We're also talking about a significant price change. <laughs> oh yeah, that thing was 300 and some grand. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna stop for lunch before we go race these cars and then I immediately have to jump onto a flight to go home So I might have to cut my truck day a little short, but they did promise me I can at least do the line lock the donuts on the other hand mm, Not too stoked about uh, I'm dual my lap time by point something And so that goes to Abdullah <laughs> We're gonna switch to the GoPro and we're gonna have a fun time. for the 
last possible second. My flight is in an hour and a half. The airport is an hour away. They basically kicked me out. They're like, you have to go. You have to make your flight or else you're gonna miss it. So one of the instructors said, you know, on the way back, just make sure you keep your eyes up and hit all your apexes and you'll be good. So uh, let's hopefully I don't have to explain that to an officer. Well, we've made it back to the airport. I'm flying back tonight in order to head to the racetrack so that we can try to break the world record again with the C8. I left it to the guys to kind of finish buttoning up a few things before heading to the track while I was out here with Cadillac. Now, I don't know where the car is at currently because we are down to the wire, but determining whether or not we go to the track or I go home will be either Sandy picking me up or Sean picking me up. So, uh, fingers crossed it's Sandy. I just landed and ironically I got a text from Kyle Boosted Boys saying when are you taking the CA to the track? Why do you ask? Because I know things are getting spicy between everyone going for the record and I said ain't that the truth. Well Kyle, the answer is right now. I hope. Depending on who shows up to pick me up. I'm back for 24 hours just to try to attempt to break the record again and then leave. Again on another flight. How does Kyle know me this well? Look at this. I saw in your video that you said you weren't gonna take me to the truck for a while and I didn't believe you. I was like, you know me that well, huh? Well, let's see, it all depends on who shows up right now to pick me up. Moment okay. of truth. Fucking yes! <laughs> let's go, baby, let's do this. Let's go break a world record. Let's do this. <laughs> we have to make a pit stop first. Okay. All right, just pull up right here. Pull up, pull up. What the? <laughs> I know that person. <laughs> Sandy obviously knew what was going was on cool. and, and why we had to put the vet together as quickly as we did because of my first national campaign and it is with Motul Oil. And there is a big ass billboard on Santa Monica Boulevard with my face on it. Before we went to the racetrack, I had to stop by and show you guys the billboard. That's rad. <laughs> And this isn't the only one. There's going to be more going up around LA. This is the first one. <laughs> I know somebody famous. <laughs> I don't feel famous. TJ Hunt, awfully quiet once a billboard went up with the world's fastest new generation Corvette. There's still a couple months out. <laughs> At least. Man, we've been holding this record for six months now. Right? When we put the record down, we were going, oh, it'll be a couple of weeks. Yeah. We were literally afraid to wait a week for the video to go live the first time we broke the world record because we thought someone else already had it beaten there just dicking with us, but six months later, here we are. It's that hard. Yeah. It's that hard. It's that hard. It's that hard. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Okay. Yeah. Are you? Absolutely. We're still beating our heads against the wall. Going, what works? What works? Well, we're going to find out today on our way to the drag strip. You know, unfortunately, we're just not able to do a lot of strength testing here, so... Let's hope we break another world record tomorrow, baby. But if not, we got it for science. <laughs> Sandy goes, fuck it, I'm gonna hit the button right here. Look at, look at that blue purge, look at that. You ready? <laughs> oh boy, we created a monster. 